everybody. Back for another episode with me. Um, starting a bigger panel today, 30 by 30 inches. Uh, my agent has asked me for a picture similar to one I did uh, a few weeks ago. I'll put the image I'm going to paint up on the screen now. And it's the same spot as the last one I did, but the colours are slightly different. The light's coming in from a different direction. We'll get started on that now. So the first step is to sketch it out and then we're going to block it in, in acrylic. So just coming up to the end of this, blocking in now. And uh, really, you know, I'm not trying to be too accurate with the colours. Obviously you want everything in roughly the right place, but with regard to the colours, it's just about getting a background on this so that you've got a, a bed to work on. The colours that I'm using are pretty, pretty limited. I mean, I haven't actually got a terribly good selection of acrylic paints and, and I do need to buy some, I do need to buy some more. Ivory black. Um, that's cadmium yellow medium, burnt umber, that's sap green, uh, that is dioxin purple, cobalt blue and titanium white. So, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be too accurate, it doesn't have to be too close to the colours in the actual photograph. Um, but that's done now and pretty much dry, so I'm going to get working on the oil. Also, in some of the comments, I keep getting people ask me what types of paints I use. I'm just using, I mean, these are pretty rubbish actually. They're quite watery, but it doesn't really matter what make you use. I think these are probably just the cheapest ones I could find in the shop, but anything will do really with, with regards to the acrylics. So, first things first, this is probably the least interesting day of the painting, I think anyway. I'm not keen on blocking in, I find it a bit laborious, especially on a big picture like this. Um, the sky, generally I tend to make those up, the sky in the photograph is just plain, there's nothing in it at all. There we are, just to give you an idea, I don't know whether you can see that. Um, Nothing in that, so I, I don't want a plain sky. I want a little bit of interest in it, so I'm going to just put in a hint of clouds, nothing too much. And then of course, when I come to do the reflection of the sky and the water, I then have to replicate that below. So let's move on to oil. Obviously the first color that I always put down when I'm working on the sky, in fact, most of the time when I'm working on anything come to that is the white because it's used, or I use it in almost every aspect. I use it every day. There's not a day that I don't mix with white. The second one I do is black, not too much. I'm gonna use less black than white, ivory black. Now this is Windsor & Newton, and I use the Alkid based oil, it's called Griffin. So we've got sap green, permanent sap green, um, in fact, I don't know why I've done that because I'm doing the sky. I'm working ahead of myself here onto the trees, so won't worry about that. We might get a chance to use that a bit later. Okay, cerulean blue hue. I'm going to use some magenta as well, just to warm up some sections of the sky. Last thing, a little bit of burnt umber as well. Okay. And maybe a bit of French ultramarine. Just a little bit, not too much. Liquid, just to help it flow. Okay, so my brush of choice, I don't know what manufacturer it is. In fact, it's probably just a crappy old brush that I've you know, bought in a set. Um, and I'm gonna use that, it's fairly soft. In fact, it is quite a soft brush, and that's what you need. To blend it, you need something soft. 
probably if I had something bigger I'd be using that but that's the biggest brush I've got that isn't rock hard. Okay so let's start mixing. I'm going to use a bit of liquid. Go straight in with the white and then a touch of the cerulean blue, not too much and a little bit of that magenta. All right, let's put it on and see what, how close we are. Well, it's lighter than what's there, but I think I don't mind that at the bottom. When you're doing it, don't worry about going over that, those tops of those trees there. Being, being um, a quicker drying oil paint, uh, by the time we get down to those trees to work on it, it be, should be okay. So still using the same colour. And I tend to blend it a little bit as I go. Okay, maybe a little bit more over here. And now I'm gonna, as I move up, I'm just gonna add a little bit more color in with that white. So as you can see that, is a little bit nearer, zoom in. That's a little bit nearer the original acrylic colour underneath. So I'm not worried about blending it at the moment with the lighter colour below. As you can see there's a an obvious line there between the two. I'll blend that in a second. That's it. Now I just start to blend. As you can see I'm going over the tree line there and it really really doesn't matter too much. I mix a bit more, so I've thrown a bit more white, a bit more of the cerulean blue. I might just throw in a little bit of that ultramarine as well there. A bit more, a bit more mauve. Let's see how we are colour wise. A bit light. Add a bit more. A bit more both of the blues and then again a bit more of that mauve. That's a bit better. A touch more blue. you're looking for is a, a fairly even transition of colour as you move up. Going a little bit darker each time. Let's try that.
pretty smooth. Okay, so I'm going to need a little bit more white. In fact, quite a lot more white. And I'm carry on mixing, so I need to go that bit darker. Let's see, that might not be quite dark enough. A bit too, a bit too warm as well, that. So this cerulean is a cooler blue. So if I need to cool it down a bit, I'll use maybe a bit more of that and less of the other one. Let's have a look at that. pretty much finished. I'm just going to add a little bit, just a hint of a very light cloud moving across the sky there. It doesn't need to be too detailed. And I'm just going to blend it in as I go. So, Just a hint, a hint of something going on. Oh, yeah. Just a bit of a windy day. So that, that'll be fine and I can add to that as I go. So just, Wipe the excess paint off that brush, like that, and then just give it a, a little bit of a blend. So although that sky is now on there, it's probably not quite finished, but it's in a position now where I can get started on the trees. Uh, and I'll probably come back to that and I'll add a bit more detail, a bit more cloud on there but that'll be nearer the end if it needs it. For years and years, I painted my pictures from reference photographs that I printed out on the printer. But one of the things I love about using a tablet is you have the ability to do that, which makes life a lot, lot easier. <laughs>